Well hello girls, gays, and theys. It's been quite some time since I've made a video and thank you so much for your patience and if you're watching this right now. So today I just wanted to come and show like a collective haul of what I've bought recently and when I mean recently it's probably dates back until August but I just want to show you guys like the alternative like trendy cool stuff that I'm wearing and I believe most of this is stuff is still in store so you can totally like get it if you want to. So first off I'm going to start out with like Walmart and Target things and then I'll move over to Shein and then a few other miscellaneous pieces that are from like small brands or small designers. And before I show you all my cute clothes make sure to like and subscribe because I know you want to see more of me. So starting with this Walmart girl stuff. This is a cheetah slip skirt and check the size on this one for you. So I got this in a double X which equates to a 20 and this is by the brand Time and True that they have at Walmart. I bought this a little bigger just because I didn't want it like super skin tight and I wanted it loose and flowy but it is super nice material and it was at a reasonable price too which I really love. I don't know why <laughs> I've like gotten I feel like that I have this like old lady fashion sense now where like nothing I wear can be above my knee and this is perfect for that because it hits right below the knee. I'm really loving like a midi moment so this is perfect for that and you could style this so many ways like you could style it up or you can pair it with like a band tee and boots and just look like kick-ass bitch. So this is another piece from Time and True as well and I got this in a size extra large which is a 16, 18 and it's just a kind of like baby doll style dress the shoulders are supposed to go off, um, off shoulder a little, and it has a nice ruching stretch material on the chest. I don't know about any of you guys, but I don't have a strapless bra, so when I wear this, I'm like constantly like pulling it up. I know I should probably just invest in like a really good strapless bra, but that is something you'd probably want to look out for if you're going to get this dress. But besides that, I think it's super cute and it has like a baby doll style fit. So if you're feeling not so confident, you could definitely like throw this on, put on like a cute cardigan or something and rock it. These pants are also from Walmart by Time and True. Obviously that if you couldn't tell already that is my favorite section of Walmart. I got these in a size 20 just because they are high rise so they're just a little more like tighter up top so I needed a bigger size. It has these really big pockets. They're super awesome and they're in like a rusty orange color. Um, I really like these because it's kind of like a dupe of everything that people are wearing right now kind of gives me like Madewell vibes which so this is like obviously a lot cheaper than that and they're super cute and they are full length so that is also really really nice you can obviously dress this up dress this down make it casual but I love this color rust and I'm super happy that it's fall because everything in stores is this color at the moment. These are not a hanger because they probably should be washed but these are by No Boundaries from Walmart and these are in a size 19 because junior sizes go in odd sizes for some reason so you always have to like number up when you buy things in junior sections but they are just some mom style boyfriend jeans or girlfriend jeans whatever you want to say they have lots of rips um all the rips are like at the knee and below so you won't have like your thigh budging out <laughs> whenever you sit down which is super awesome they are full length but i love to cuff them and throw some boots on i believe they have them in a darker wash and black as well so it caters to everyone's needs the last thing i bought for my boyfriend for his halloween costume because i made him be a farmer but i couldn't find any cowboy hats at walmart so i got this like i got this hat for him and I've just been stealing it and feeling my witchy moment, okay? Like, I look kind of cute. I'm not like a hat person ever, 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 but I don't know, with the right dress or like the right outfit, I could see myself rocking this, especially if I have dirty hair, which I do now, but you can't tell because I can style my hair when it's greasy. Okay, we've seen every bitch on TikTok, you know, and I mean bitch, I mean like awesome, cute girl wear these shirts on TikTok so of course like I wanted to try it and I got this in a double X from Wild Fable and it comes it's like a bone color and everyone is just bearing wearing this and like having their hot boobies hang out so I wanted to try the trend um I probably will be wearing a bra with this if I ever try it just because my boobies are a little big and I don't know I would not want them hanging out down here <laughs> towards my waist so I might wear um a little bra with that but I've seen people, if I can find the hack, I'll definitely like post it on this video. 
but I saw this girl like tie the strings like into her bra so then it like doesn't flail around and then it covers the bra so this is super cute and while we're at it I guess I can tell you the price it was $15 and I believe they had other colors too specifically like purple but I kind of wanted to be a little more basic and have a neutral color. These last two pieces are from H&M and I'm surprised like I can even fit into H&M at this point. Um, when I went shopping they didn't even have a plus size section so I had to shop straight size and I was a little scared. But these are both in an extra large and it's by Divided H&M. This was $25 and I don't know like I'm trying to get back into my like 90s grunge vibe. When I was in high school I was like obsessed with Courtney Love and like like the grungy soft grunginess of the 90s so seeing this dress it like totally channeled how it used to be in high school. So it has these like cool ruffle sleeves kind of gives you more of like a poof on your shoulder and then down at the bottom there is a pretty large slit. I think I would I am pretty uncomfortable with how large the slit is so I think I'm gonna ask my mother-in-law or my, or maybe myself, I'll just put a few more stitches in this slit just because it is really, because it is really far up and I do want to be able to wear this piece with biker shorts as well as at work. I might not be that appropriate to wear at work so we just can doctor her up a little. And this is also an extra large and in the brand Divided H&M. I believe this was $10. I think I might have taken off the tag. It is just this purple crop knit sweater. It's not like super super short but it's definitely like if you have high-waisted pants it'll probably meet you at the middle. So it is super cute. Um, not like the thickest material but it was ten dollars and I think I got my money's worth. I thought it'd be really cute to style this over that dress I just showed you to do like a little moment if it's a little colder. So if you follow me on TikTok you might have seen the stuff already but bear with me. And if you don't follow me on TikTok Here's my account, so make sure to follow me. So these pants are the love of my life. I got them in a 2X, which I believe is a 16 in Shein, and they are just these zebra flare pants. They are so fucking cute, and they are pretty stretchy. I think they're kind of hard to put on because they have one of those like side snaps, and to be honest, I can't see over my tits. So doing it, I'm gonna like, but you know we get the job done. Um, these are a super thick material like I feel like with a lot of Shein stuff it is see-through but with this look you can't see my hand how amazing. If you are in need of zebra print pants buy these zebra print pants. I guess I'll show this because it fell but this is also in a 2XL. I was in denial of like what size I wore when I made these purchases and I definitely do need to size up in this but it is this really cute skirt and I think another reason I don't like it is because it is super, super short. But if you are in the mini skirts, I think you would love this. It is this like um, double layer skirt. The top is mesh. And then there's like a little slip skirt underneath it. And it has these beautiful pink and red flowers. I really love it. And I've seen a lot of people on TikTok wearing it. So of course I had to try. So this is another piece from Shein. It is this cow print slip dress. It has some lace at the top and the bottom. I bought this in a 3XL, which equates to a size 18. It's super cute. I wanted to buy it to kind of like throw on an undershirt and then wear it out. I guess this could be like a sexy lingerie pace, but I don't really like want to do cow foreplay. So this is just more of a going out outfit, I guess. I wore this on Halloween and I was a cow and I looked good as hell. If you also want to be a cow or just do cow cosplay, make sure to check this out. I feel like I've seen this piece all over TikTok as well. And it is this cardigan. It comes in a lot of other colors too. And just green and has some yellow cute flowers. I believe I got this in 2X or 3X. I don't remember. I'll make sure to have it on the screen. But the only downside to it is there's nothing on the back, but I mean, I don't see my back, so I don't care. But this is just super cute. I love it. Giving Harry Styles vibes, giving retro vibes. I haven't worn it yet, but I look at it a lot and that's what counts. And the last boring piece from Shein I got was this dress and it is pretty see-through. I got it to wear with the cardigan as well as just, I'm like a mustard girl, if you couldn't tell already. So um, just like a baby doll dress with some fake buttons. This is a little see-through. Uh, you can kind of see my hand, 
but when I tried this on I was wearing black biker shorts and you could totally see them so if you have like nude Spanx or biker shorts you'd probably need to wear this underneath that unless you're just gonna like have your ass hanging out but you know like it's the job done it was cheap and from Shein so I guess you can't ask too much so now for like the one-off kind of like smaller brand items I've purchased this is the only thing I've worn for the last month since I've gotten it and it is by this brand called Just Peachy it's like I think it's ran by one or two girls super cute super affordable super nice quality um, I bought this in a 2x because I wanted it to be pretty big and long I wanted to be able to wear it without pants without my crotch hanging out and it gets the job done but it is this charcoal gray sweater and it says sweet dreams and has this baby with a nail bat sitting on a moon and it's so cute so thick and nice material it's not like thick to the point where you feel like you're suffocating but it's thick in the sense that it's like nice sweater material if you get what I mean I'm not sure how much this is but of course I'll leave a picture over here so I was gifted this by a small Etsy creator and mutual of mine she has a brand called honey blowtorch and she just made this dress out of bandanas it has a nice like elastic on the wrist so it gives off like balloon arms and it's pretty long too which I love because I referenced earlier that I'm becoming somewhat conservative with my legs for some reason. It's super cute. It has a really nice bodice. It's really flattering in the chest and nice and poofy in the rest of the area. I love it. And of course, I'm a hoe for mustard. So this is just spectacular. Um, I've hoarded a lot of dresses. <laughs> I don't, I've just like started hoarding dresses this whole quarantine. But this is by a brand name Change. You might have seen them on Instagram. I bought this in an extra large I believe and it is just a t-shirt dress and it says it's not the strongest of the species that survives nor the most intelligent it is the one that is most adaptable to change Darwin and then it just has a cute butterfly um, to be honest I could have sized up in this just because it's a little tight in my stomach region which made me a little bit insecure but you know what you only fucking live once so be cute and have your tummy hang out this I believe the brand is ethical or like carbon footprint neutral which is really amazing I love supporting companies like that and if you follow me on social media you might have seen this dress because I did squeal a bit when it came to me this is by so wasted this girl has a pretty pop in TikTok and Instagram if you've never heard of her before she lives in the UK and she just creates these beautiful dresses they are so amazing I bought this in a 2xl but she lives in the UK so the sizing is a bit different and I bought the mismatch plaid one and it just has so many different beautiful flannel panels on here it's such nice quality I could not rave more about this like it is well worth the time and money that I've put into this dress it is beautiful and this is in the midi style so it is a bit longer you can get it in like a shorter style if you are if you like shorter stuff but I did get mine in a midi if you're wondering and it's just so cute and beautiful she has such cute things so go check her out she has like so many I don't know, I'm just gonna say so many cute things like I love all of her stuff and I'm definitely gonna be purchasing from her again the last piece I have is from ASOS so I guess that's not really a small brand but I got this in a size US 16 and it's just this oversized um, leather denim jacket. To be honest, I really love the look of leather jackets, but I don't know, I'm just like weird with like textures and I don't really like how most leather jackets like fit on me. Like, I don't know, it just feels like I just sweat and then I feel slimy. But this is super oversized, which I love because I want all of my jackets to be pretty oversized and it's humongous. Um, they were sold out in a size 18, which I do buy most of my stuff in, but um, a lot of people were saying that it like runs really big. So I ended up just buying 16 and crossing my fingers and it fits perfect. I need to collect some more pins to put this on this because obviously like I'm a punk bitch. I have this pin that I found when I was at junior college on the floor. It says keep Portland weird. And then I have this trans ally pin that says I'll go with you, which, which is a movement to support trans people. And just like if you feel uncomfortable or unsafe, then if you see this pin, like, you know that someone's an ally and 
you could ask them to like go to the bathroom with you or do something with you if you need help. But that's it right now. Pocket right here and then huge side pockets with zippers. I can't even like show you how big it is. But then at the bottom it has this buckle that you can do around if you're gonna like zip it up. But I like, li I like hanging it out and rattling all around. It just sounded badass, but amazing piece. And I really needed a new like winter jacket because I have this jacket from Dolls Kill and it just makes me so uncomfortable to wear to work because in the hood it says fake as fuck. And I mean like fuck is like, it's F with like a bunch of um, like number signs and exclamation points. So it doesn't actually say fuck. It says like, you know what I mean? Like it's blurred out, but I'm just like uncomfortable. And like whenever I wear to like put the hood up, like basically over my head, just in case someone can like read my hood. We needed a new jacket, okay? That's my explanation for like buying this piece so I don't feel guilty. Just need to like up my professional game a little. But if you did like any of those pieces, I'm gonna make sure to link as much as I can down below because I want you guys to be like cute mid-size plus size bitches with like cool alternative clothes because I understand that being a little heavier means that you can't find cute clothes all the time and I'm here to show you the cool shit I find. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and check out more of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Adios!